All right, so this will be a quick review of uh, the basics of Blender. So just in case you need to, file, new, reload. So this has got our new project. So to look around, if you hold the middle mouse button, you can do that. If you hold shift and the middle mouse button, you can look around like this, pan. Um, if you hold control and middle mouse, you can zoom in and out. There's uh, shortcuts on uh, the keyboard, up, down, left, right, and, and on Mac. Um, I'm just not sure what they are. You might have to look them up. So to select this cube, right click, delete, delete. And we're going to want to make a hand to import into Unity. So we're going to start with a mesh, add, mesh, plane. And if you press N, this uh, side window pops up. It just makes sure it's at zero, zero, zero. It's just easiest that way. Uh, we're going to want to zoom up and look at it kind of like this. And you can use the numpad. If you do numlock and press 7, it'll make it just perfectly on top like that. Otherwise, you can kind of eyeball it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to press N again to get rid of that. Whoops. So from here, uh, there's two basic modes in Blender. There's object mode, where you select entire objects, and then edit mode, um, where you edit vertices or edges or faces. So we're going to go into edit mode. You press tab. Now we're in edit mode. It says so here. There's object mode, tab, object mode, tab, edit mode. So like I said, here's how you select. You can select a point. If you right click, left click. Control Z puts it back, and here select a face, right click, now left click, Control Z, and finally a face. You can right click and you know move up. I guess the whole face. If there was more going on, it would just move the face. Control Z, um, and back to here. So we are gonna make a hand with the knife tool. So right here. And I'm just left clicking to do all this. And if your hand is ugly, you can say it's like an alien hand or a robot hand, and that's like a good excuse. So I'm going to say this is a robot hand. Yeah. And then click here. And now press enter, and it'll make the cuts. And uh, select faces, right click, delete, um, left click faces. So now we just have a hand, but it's actually really flat, and we want to fix that. So right click, and now we're going to press E. This extrudes, so it gives our hand some, some substance. I'm just going to give it a little bit like that. And just to tweak, select this, uh, this edge here and move it up and inward. I don't know. You can just play around with this a bit. Ooh, what happened there? Yeah. And if you hold shift, now I'm selecting four of these. So I've got four edges selected. I can move them. I can also press S to scale it. So this will be tinier, this will be bigger. So I'll just make this, I don't know, kind of interesting here by pressing S again, right click, holding shift, right click, right click, right click, pressing S, and finally right click, hold shift, right click, right click, right click. Let's try R. R will rotate it, so you see what's happening there, and I don't know, scale it, make it bigger. Okay, so that's good enough for uh, just the basics, so we're going to want to save this now. So, file, Save as and just find a good spot to save the dot blend file. Um, I'll just put it on my desktop. This will let you edit it later. Uh, robot hand. Save as blender file. Oh, I'm replacing it. Okay. So save it. But now for Unity, we need to export into a different format because the dot blend is just to edit it. So we actually want to, well, first uh, go into Unity. So click uh, Assets, and we're going to want to make sure we're organized. So right click, Create, Folder, 
meshes. And this is where all our models are going to go because it can actually get pretty messy with animations and textures and uh, other things I don't, can't remember the names of. So now go back to Blender. So from Blender, File, Export, and uh, FBX is a pretty good uh, file format that a lot of programs understand, like Unity. So click that. On the left here, um, we don't need any of these. So just left click on Mesh. We don't need anything else, just Mesh. Uh, we don't have any animations, any weird lighting or anything. Um, that should be good. And so find your project. Mine's here, Unity Assets. And robot hand, well, in meshes. And uh, robot hand dot fbx f export. And now back to Unity. So now from Unity, we can go in meshes. And our export actually made this folder with this uh, diff this shader in it. It's just a basic shader. And uh, our robot hand, and you can click this. So we've got an animation that's just empty, and we've got you know the, all the pieces of our our model here. Now one thing, if I click and drag and bring this into our map, it looks like there's nothing there. Whereas actually, you zoom in a lot, actually it's pretty hard, but see it's tiny. It is it is there, it's just really small, because the programs don't always know exactly how to talk to each other. So click on the hand and scale factor, set it to 1, and yeah, apply. And there you go. So now it's now it's sizable. It's a good size. And it's in our game. So just like a cube, you know, you can move it around. Now one last thing you want to we want to attach this to our player so it looks like uh it looks like that's what we see, like we see our hands. And I'm going to make this bigger. So if you click on main camera, you get a little preview, and we want our hand right here. So all you got to do is select your hand, press E kind of spin it around, spin it around a bit, uh, like that, and then W lets us move it, and I'm kind of guessing, so main camera, oh, it's kind of getting there, robot hands, we are going to pull it back a bit, yeah, that's pretty good, that is about what we want. So, even though it's here, if we press play now, we're going to fall, we're going to move, and it's actually not stuck to us. So there's one more thing we need to do. We need to select the robot hand here, left click and drag onto player, and now it's actually attached. So when we press play, our hand is attached to us. And there you go.